Judy, the ad is causing a bit of a stir because the group that paid for it has a vague name and is not registered with the state as a political organization. So who's behind it is a mystery. We've eliminated sub-minimum wage. We have the largest paid time off. Mayor Brandon Johnson talking to seniors at a bingo event today, sounding very much like he's in campaign mode, even though his next election is still three years away. Johnson's message coming one day after in Sunday Chicago Sun-Times, someone took out a $2,600 full-page ad that touted Johnson as the people's mayor. It also listed some of the very same accomplishments Johnson was talking about to seniors. Johnson claimed no knowledge of the group, Southside Chicagoans, who paid for the ad. No more than I have any knowledge of people who don't necessarily, who, who oppose my position. That the people who are excited about my leadership over these first 10 months are obviously expressing that excitement. But the Better Government Association says the ad raises some questions about transparency when the members of the group behind it remain a mystery. Mayor Johnson may have nothing to do with this at all, but nevertheless, if somebody is out there touting the mayor, we in the public realm also have a right to know who that person is. Grising also notes the timing is strange with the mayor so early in his first term. UIC professor emeritus of political science Dick Simpson agrees, but says there's nothing illegal about what the group did or they're remaining anonymous. So I view this as a, a signal of support and a desire to keep the city on a progressive uh, trajectory, uh, particularly in comparison to what Paul Vallis would have done if he had been elected mayor. I'm very proud of the work that we've done thus far in the first 10 months. Now, there's a lot of work to still be done, um, but our message is pretty consistent. A better, stronger, safer Chicago requires a mayor that's going to invest in people, and I've done just that. Now, the group Southside Chicagoans is not registered with the State Board of Elections, but because the ad was not advocating for a vote for or against a candidate, the Board of Elections spokesman told me the group would not have to register. We asked the Sun-Times for further information about who paid for the ad and are still awaiting a response. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.